everybody welcome to the channel my name is Lindsay and this is life with Lindsay today we have an unboxing uh, before I get into the unboxing I'm trying to readjust my ring light it is making it brighter over here but it's giving more shadows so if I have to readjust it in the video that's why I cannot for the life of me get a good rating on lighting in here anyway so this beautiful kit came to us from none other than Jazz Higgins if you guys didn't see my first Jazz Higgins unboxing, I did Alice and Absalom for Alice in a Winter Wonderland. I will make sure to leave that up in the eye. Um, today, this canvas is Rainbow Fairy. She is going to be a 40 by 55. Let's get into it. Now, if anybody is seeing this and they're going, oh my god, your box is a little beat up. Yes, it came from literally the other side of the world. However, I will say, this looks like it's in much better shape than the last one I got, which is no fault to Jazz or... Um, Australia Post. It just, and look, it's in great condition. It just, it's coming from the other side of the world. So, um, let's look at this. So, for those who are curious, from the date of purchase to the date it got to my door, it was about three weeks, which is pretty good, I think, for international shipping. I got the notification it had shipped and then the tracking ends there because it was coming from Australia to the United States. So, um, look at this. Perfect for that heart wax. A little clear container. You can use it for your trash rolls or your wax container. Here is a little thank you of the image I've got. Look, I'm a sticker. So, this will go in my log book. It's perfect. This is the inventory sheet. Yes. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look how streamlined that is. Like, literally just what you need, and that's it. Perfect. She's got 35 colors. We will go over that in a moment. So, Jazz, if you guys don't know Jazz, she is an Australian-based artist. Look at her work. She did does pop surrealism. I love this. And she is sweet as can be. I actually interviewed her for Alice in Winter Wonderland. I will make sure to link that up in the eye. It is a video that was exported from an Instagram Live and put onto YouTube. So, I do apologize if the framing of it is odd. Here's your little instruction booklet. And you can see all of the attention to detail here. She has all the little things. Here is your toolkit. A pair of metal tweezers. A pad of wax. A pen with a probably seven placer. And then a green boat with an open spout. Or an open, not a spout. Does that make sense? I can't get my words together, you guys. Um, Jazz is wonderful. We've chatted quite a few times. And I really, really loved working on that last canvas. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a post review. So, editing Lindsay, note to self, put the post review up in the eye. So, let's get these out. This is a poured glue canvas. Jazz is one of those people that I have so much respect for. You guys are probably going to see a bunch of videos, probably in a row, where I'm saying the same general thing. I have massive amounts of respect for people who do this on their own. Jazz is an independent artist. She is putting out her own diamond paintings from her own artwork. Um, okay. I'm going to roll her the other way so that she will lay flat. This is one of those stiffer canvases. Um, and she is poured glue. So Jazz does... She posts on Instagram. She also has a Facebook group. And I'll make sure to put all of it down below. But she tends to do one new diamond painting a month. Um, or tries to. You know, sometimes the world... Oh my god. You guys, first of all. Look at this. This beautiful rainbow with the beautiful hibiscus. But that eye, you guys. And then the wing. Ooh, I may have to add some ABs in here. Um, or maybe a little into her eye here. You guys, oh my god, I'm so excited. So, this is perfect. This is a 40 by 55, which I've got my measuring tape here. Let's see. Um, like I was saying, I have a lot of respect for people who, yep, 40, just like a notch under, not even maybe like a centimeter under, 40 by, you guys watch me struggle, this will be fun, 55, okay, um, so right on the nose, actually my light is now, Ugh. 
If anybody has, like, any tips and advice on lighting, please let me know. All right, so, unfortunately, I'm going to have the glare no matter what because I have an overhead lighting because it's dark. The ring lighting there, which is what you see here. But, anyway, we're not going to focus on that. What I'm trying to say is I really respect an artist who puts out their own work as diamond paintings on their own. She's not licensed to another company. She just does it all. And she does all of it from her home. She has her manufacturer and then she packs and assembles all the kits and ships them from her home in Australia. So one thing I will say, because I know there are going to be people who say to me, oh my God, I can't believe the shipping is so much to the United States. This is my, my soapbox moment. I'm going to get on it and then I'm going to get off of it. Shipping internationally is incredibly expensive. Um, I believe if I were to ship this to her, it would probably cost more. But shipping domestically is unbelievably expensive. So you have to give especially these small, small shop owners or like your independent artists, you have to cut them some more slack because it's expensive. So at the date of my purchase, um, or I, I'm sorry, at the date that I'm recording this, um, and please keep in mind, all rates are in Australian dollars that I have converted to U.S. dollars, but the U.S. dollar exchange rate fluctuates. So if you look at it today and you convert it to your dollar amount, whether it be like pounds or U.S. dollars or whatever, the rate is going to, to change how much it costs. But overall, it's going to cost you about the same no matter what. So the cost of the canvas was $47 Australian, and it was $29.99 Australian dollars to ship it. That converted to U.S. dollars today, which is August 16th. This is the day I'm filming this. That, turned, that converted to $56.33, and that is for both the canvas and the shipping. To me, this is comparable to a lot of the... Um, Higher end, legally licensed canvases, I was absolutely fine with paying that price. I have zero issues supporting small artists, small businesses, independent art, and things like that. So, um, she is a little wrinkly just from being smushed, but let's check out the drill field. It is poured glue, as I said. Very, very sticky. Um, I can tell you right now, these lighter colors, these symbols are very, very clear because I can see them from up here. There's a lot of static up here tonight. I don't know why. So that's my fault there. Let's check. Oh, this is nice. You guys, my camera's blurring things out and I don't know why. It doesn't usually do it that bad, but it's white symbols. This is the pie symbol on a dark background. Here's a music note on the purple background. All of these symbols look really clear. This is an S with a white background. Let me see the, and I'll look at the drills with you guys in a moment. I love when you get an inventory sheet. Like, selfishly, I love it because it makes it easier for labeling my drill containers. But it also lets me see what the symbols are. Number three. What do you guys call that symbol? I call it bacon. Anyway. Trying to see if there are any... Like, B and 8. Anything that's very similar to each other. No. I mean, the closest you got is a crescent moon and a C. But I think those are distinguishable enough. These are beautiful. Her kits, as far as I know, none of her kits come with AB drills, but this is such, I don't want to call it a simple image, but it is so simplistic in the way it's laid out that it would be very easy to just throw in a couple white ABs or whatever it may be that you want to add. Um, Tima over at DP Sparklers, I'll leave all of everything down below, um, is a great site to get Special drills. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm admiring this. This is gorgeous. Um, I think I might do this for Knox's um, Love Wins. I'll put the full hashtag right here because I'm going to butcher it. It's super long. Um, you guys, I love this. What do you guys think of this? Like the streaks in her hair and like the one eye. Like look at the beautiful, the nose and the lips. Oh, you guys with the rainbow. I love this. So let me turn her over. Like I said, she is poured glue, but she's on that, like, stiffer, I don't know what to call, what you call the material, but these are pre-bagged, which I have no problem with pre-bagged bags, but I will take them out of the bag, and then I'll put them back in the bag when I'm done. However, maybe I'll attempt to work out of bags this time. What do we think about that, you guys? Think it's a good idea? Bad idea? 838, so I'm going to try to grab a dark color here. All right, so these are weighted. You can see here it tells you 
what the weight is and what the quantity is. Um, my last kit, I didn't run out of any colors. I loved it. These are pretty good quality. So for those who are curious, when she releases a canvas, she does one size and one drill shape per canvas. So this particular canvas was the 40 by 55 and it comes in round drills. She does have square drill canvases. Somebody said that the last one I did that she didn't and she does, but not every canvas is available in both round and square, if that makes sense. So check out another one. You guys, these are really pretty. These drills look really, really nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that sparkle, you guys. That's what I love. Who doesn't love that, you know? So this seems to be a pretty short and sweet little unboxing here. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know down below. If you have purchased a Jazz Higgins kit or you are interested in purchasing one, let me know down below. Uh, I know she did one with Snow White and there were a bunch of cute little woodland creatures that a lot of people went crazy for. I loved my Alice. Um, I loved my Alice. That's what I did for my event last year or this year, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, make sure you hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record while my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys!